Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we are going to learn about the common options transform tools share. The tools that share some of these options are the move, unified transform, rotate, scale, shear, flip, perspective, 3D transform, and handle transform tools. First up in the options is the transform modes. You will see four icons at the top of the tool options. Layer will cause your chosen transform tool to only look at the current active layer. You can make a layer active by clicking on it. Selection will allow you to transform active selections with these tools. Path allows you to transform active paths with these tools. And Image will transform your entire project with the selected transform tool. Next, we have options for transformation behavior. Normal forward adjust the object in the direction of your mouse movements. Corrective backward adjust the object in the opposite way your mouse moves. This option is mostly designed for the rotation tool as it allows you to correct images that may be misaligned. Next, let's look at interpolation. Interpolation can help preserve the original quality of the object after it has been transformed. It does this by analyzing pixels and retaining color information that is integral to the photograph's quality. This does not affect active paths or selections. First, I will rotate one image with none selected. Then the next image, I will change interpolation to low halo. If we zoom in, we can see how the image that used the none interpolation has more jagged edges, while the one which used low halo is more smooth. I've included a link in the description that goes into more detail about these options. Experiment to see which one works best for you. Clipping is used when a transformation may reach outside the layer boundaries. This doesn't affect paths or selections. The layer boundary is this yellow dotted line. Adjust enlarges the layer boundary to compensate for any size changes. See how the layer boundary extended as I rotated this image to make sure all of the image fits within. Clip crops part of the object that reaches outside the boundary. We can see a great preview of this here. The areas in white that should be the image are cut off. Crop to result looks at the transparent areas created by the transformed image and cuts the image down to include none of those areas. Crop with Aspect produces similar results to Crop to Result, but make sure the aspect ratio of the image is preserved. Here is a side-by-side -side of Crop to Result and Crop with Aspect. By having Show Image Preview toggled on, as we transform our layer, we can see a real-time preview. You can change the opacity of this preview by editing this image opacity slider. While I transform the image, this opacity shows, but if I click Rotate to finalize, the original opacity returns. Composited Preview will allow you to still see a real-time preview, even if our layer has a blending mode, or 
if multiple layers are linked. Originally, if I apply a blending mode to this layer and make sure composited preview is unchecked, as I make a transformation, the blending mode disappears momentarily until I finalize this transformation. With composited preview checked, the blending mode remains as we transform. If we check preview linked items and link layers together by clicking right next to the eye on two layers, as we transform, we see a preview of both. Checking synchronous preview will simply create a smoother preview. Under the preview options, we have a dropdown titled Guides. From this dropdown, we get different options for guides that will show up right in the transformation matrix. Notice how they conform to the matrix as I move it around. Many of the transformation tools will produce a pop-up dialog as you make adjustments to an object. These provide extra useful information and toggles related to the transform tool you're using. Each tool will have a unique dialog box. The dialog box also comes with the options Readjust and Reset. Readjust adjusts the transformation handles to better fit the zoom level you are using on your canvas. If I zoom all the way in and click Readjust, the handles will conform more to my current view. Clicking Reset will reset your transformation back to the starting point of your current transformation. And that's it. You now know how to navigate the common options that transform tools share. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.